going to be some general wire up data because some people might not understand what I'm working with here. So I'm using two 200 amp that'll go in right here. Those are just in there temporarily. And over here I'm using a 250, like I said before in previous videos. Now, this is a piece of type L soft copper, okay? It's pretty thick. And going inside of it is what's called 3 8 OD refrigeration or quarter inch ID tubing. And what I'm doing with it is I'm going to put it down inside of this copper. Now I want you to look at this. Right here, we're going to flatten this copper out into a bus bar. Now before you say, oh my God, there's you know, some kind of an effect on wire and, and you have to have stranded copper and, and all that jazz, man, you, you guys get over that. Stranded copper's only solution, only reason to exist is because it is flexible. It's got not a damn thing to do with anything else when it comes to DC current flexibility. If that was true, then your big, huge lead contacts on your car battery wouldn't work. Your big bus bars in your fuse boxes in your cars wouldn't work. Get real. Now, we're looking at, because I'm also going to insert inside of here, an additional piece of wire. So let me get this, and I'm going to hammer it out, and you'll see what I mean as far as making a connection. And what's that look like? A tinned copper bus bar. And look at the short little run fuse is smaller than what this is all right now so what I've got here is I have a piece of six gauge copper as you can see there I stripped some of it back there and I'm going to take two sections of this six gauge and put inside of this pipe as well as that piece of three eighths and show you the next step as soon as I hammer it flat I'll show you what we're working with all right now what I have in here is I have some 3 8 tube, I have some uh, stranded copper, and before you say, hey, this guy is a real genuine moron, you can't put electricity through copper, well, go fuck yourself. I'm tired of hearing that argument that you can't put electricity through copper. Well, guess what? Copper pipe is 99.97% pure, and one of these I bet you can never guess what it's made out of. Copper pipe. Now, aren't we brilliant? All right. So, if you want your thumbs down, stick it in your butt. If you want to listen and learn more, figure out how to do this cheap and easy, watch. So, we're going to take this with a hammer and we're going to flatten this really well. And then we're going to drill it to put two holes in it so that this item makes this connection right here and it's going to handle a lot of amps I want you to look at the difference of what is supposed to handle 310 amps and what this is all right is that brilliant well, that's just common sense so let's hammer this flat and drill it so you can see this right here it's been made flat and it's a little bit offset so that when it goes over here it fits up a perfect mount and we will round the edges we're not leaving this rough and drill it to fit the fittings on both sides not too bad huh now why am i doing this well this is scraps and it cost me i don't know 75 cents um that's a dollar by itself and you got to buy the wire and you got to put a lot smaller power supply through there but this is big all right so now you see how this flat bar slightly offset to fit is going to work absolutely perfect and yes it's a bus bar if you could tolerate that you made yourself a savings of quite a bit of money now the second one is going up through here and before any of you set your hair on fire that's aluminum you know you're going to kill chickens with it whatever um, it's a clamp it carries full voltage full amperage very short run 
it's quite large and it is aluminum it's electrical grade aluminum this is going to go up in there and you see these pair of six gauges that go through they will be fished through here as clamping force assistance because the fine wires as you see over here that's inside of these uh, two gaugers there's a pair of two gauge going together to get to this but the fine wires doesn't and will not make great contact but by adding this in there it allows it to really fill the space and clamp real high force on it so that's what helps we'll trim off the excess when we're done but adding that in there helps compress that so same thing here and put the fuse on drop my line down to here which will be made out of oh my god more bar copper and tube so been doing it now for seven years i hope that explains a few things it seems to have been working for seven years i'm not making videos about blown up inverters because i don't have any something must be working that's helping you figure out how you can make it cheaper make it easier and i hope that helps people and don't set their hair on fire and run around like a lunatic screaming wrong materials all right